Hello guys, welcome back to your lineup. For today's video, we're going to show you or discuss with you how to use a GOG app. So if you're interested, let's start tutorial. So you might be wondering what is the GOG app here? How do you start using it? And in this case, uh, how do you exactly install it? So first, let's go and discuss what is the GOG app here. Now, the GOG app here allows you to basically work alongside your avatar. Now, we all know, like for like for example, you're some working from home or studying at your own home and you're not used to just being alone out there. Well, in this case, you can create your avatar and work or study alongside uh, with that avatar, which in this case, it's like a companion. So think of it like a Tamagotchi that allows you to choose an ambient so that you don't feel like you're alone so some people actually work a lot better or in this case focus a lot better if they know they have someone at uh by their side now in this case you also occupies your phone here it will not uh basically it will allow you to focus on your work instead of just going to uh your phone going to social media uh and doing other stuff besides uh, focusing on what you need to finish so first is we need to install the app now, if you're using an Android device, you can actually go to Google Play Store here. So as you can see, Google Play Store, you can just type in GOG and you should be able to see GOG focus with your avatar, which in this case, it should allow you to install that. So it will just take a few seconds or a few minutes for it to install. Just wait for it. But once it's done, you can go and click on the open button here. Now, in the main menu, you have two options. So you have the start and log in. Now, if you want to create an account, for GOG here, you can go and click on log in. From here, you can just continue with Google, your Google account, or you can also continue with your email here, which allows you to basically use a uh, an email and a password to log in. But then again, if you want to use your Google account, it's pretty easy. Just one click, uh, one click off a button here. Now, if you click on start here, this will load up a very specific page here. So just wait for it to load up. It's going to immediately allow you to start creating your avatar. So let's go and click on start. Now from here, you could just basically start customizing your avatar. So like the skin, like you could go and click on the color here. So as you can see, I can change the color or skin tone of my character. As you can see right now, you could go and click on the uh, clothes as well. As you can see, you have your uh, face. You could go to hair here, customize that as you can see. Uh, maybe I want to get one of the air here, like this one maybe. And you could also choose the eye for it. It's going to choose eye, choose whichever eye you want to use for this one. So there's a lot of customization here, like the eye shape, the iris, as you can see right now. You also have the pupil here if you want to customize that, what it's going to look like. The eyelash here if you want to uh, use a very specific one. For here, as you can see, there's a lot of choices here. You also have the eyebrows as well. You could customize that. You have your mouth, just in case you want to use a very specific one here. And you also have the uh, the cosmetics here, like the eyeshadow, the chick, the lip here, and also a mustache if you want to add those. But I want to choose none. And also you have the clothes option here, which allows you to change the clothes uh, for that specific character. As you can see, there's going to be a lot you can choose from here. So maybe I want to choose one of the clothes here. Maybe this one. Let's go to vest, go in none and select that as you can see here now. Uh, you could also choose this one to change it. Maybe this one. Have your uh, pants, so maybe we want to make it like this one, or maybe this one. I, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a fashion expert, but yeah, you could just continue with your customization here and whatnot. You could also click on the person here. You could go into go to stickers, so you can change like stickers here. Or you can uh, add that. You could go ahead and just add your custom sticker here if you want, and just place it around if you want. This is just further customization. But once you're done, you can go and click on save at the top right, and you could just add your name so let's just add our name here click on next from here you could go and just choose your birthday here so let's go and choose one for us and from here click on next now from here it's going to say your avatar is ready and you can go ahead and start using it let's go and click on next it's going to say take a photo uh in this case you can go ahead and click on share this image or click on next if you want 
and you could go and continue with either Google or uh, email here. So I'm just going to say Google. This is which in this case makes it a lot easier for us. Let's go and choose our Google account here. Click on continue. And once it's done, it should load up Gog again. Now from here, you could go and choose your room style. So there's a lot that you could choose from, as you can see here now. So maybe I want to choose this one. Click on choose this. And from here, it's going to say, for the best focus experience, recommend the following settings here, which in this case allows your screen on, plugged in, and volume on. So in this case, still loading up. So you can go and click on allow. And also it's going to say focus with sound and teams. Let's go and click on next. And it's just going to give you like a short tutorial on things here, uh, what you could do. So you could just watch that if you want. So and in here, as you can see, immediately, we could just move around as you can see it's like a 360 camera like you move around here you can uh, choose or select uh, certain uh, elements here like for example this item here you can go ahead and just select that as you can see it's going to be selected view a few things here as you can see here now when you go to oh by the way you have like four items at the very bottom so we have our home at the very bottom uh, which is in this case this is a view that we have so your character is now working those have the home here which in this case allows you to basically see space. Like for example, uh, you have public spaces here if you wanna join those. You also have like, uh, you can basically create or edit your uh, clothes for your character or avatar. You also have your profile at the bottom right here. If you click on it, you should see your uh, profile, like your QR code, your friends, your total, total focus time here, and also your analytics, like your daily, weekly, monthly focus. You could uh, further uh, customize your profile if you want to in here. So you can see you have that edit button as well. Now, if you click on friends here, this allows you to invite friends, search users, or even view your friend requests that friend requests that you receive on the platform. Now, from here, if you go to your homepage here, the most important is going to be the homepage. By the way, now the top, the in the main menu here, as you can see, we have that bell icon. This is where you'll be able to see your notifications, just in case like there's now announcements, friend requests that you receive. You also have the sun effect here, so if you want to make it sunny or rainy, as you can see, it's now raining on my character. You could also click on the auto here, which in this case it will automatically uh, switch to day, evening, or night. Something cool. You also have the light here if you want to turn on or turn off the light. You can even select the sound here, like adjust the volume for the background, the ambient sound, and the avatar as well. Like you also like, click on the ambient sound here, change that to a different one, like ocean breeze here, so you have that sound effect going on. Now, also, you can click, and click on the play here. Now, for example, if you're playing something in the background, as you can see, you could choose uh, which playlist you want to play here, and yeah. You can also click on post here. You can post that specific character to a very specific uh, look here. So you can customize it further. Summary cool again. And you, if you click on the photo option here, this actually um, uh, allows you to take a photo of your character. So you could go to gaze here if you want to make it look like. If you want to post your character to a very specific one, go ahead and click a handheld uh, camera. Go to drone here. So you can zoom in or zoom out. If you want to move around, you can go ahead and do that. By the way, if you want to move, the, you need two, uh, two fingers to move it left and right. Now, one finger pressing on it is just like rotating around your subject. So, it would, so just move it around, then use your finger, one finger, two finger to move it right, and then one finger to move it in a specific position. Yeah, so you could just take a photo here. And that's your photo. You can just post this on social media and you could also update your profile. Let's, let's get close. But yeah, you can go ahead and click on the uh, focus mode here. So you tap on an item if you want to focus like on a specific object, like your character. Have the light, turn that off or off, on or off. You can also click on the brain brush option here, which allows you to customize your room. As you can see, there are different tables, uh, lighting here, uh, decorative. You also have the photos option here. And this one, as you can see right now. So yeah, let's go and click on X here. So yeah. So in this case, using the app itself is pre pretty easy. Uh, as long as you know the controls for it and how to set it up. You could also like upload your own photo uh, for that specific tablet. Like, let's just go and click on our photo here. Click on gallery. Maybe let's go and choose one image here. 
So maybe let's go put ourselves in it. And let's go ahead and make sure the whole face is in it. Click on upload. But yeah, it will upload that photo inside of it. It might take a while to load up, but it should customize our, our tablet here. And we should be good. As you can see right now, that's our photo. So yeah, so in this case, that's about it. Hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe. But see you later. Thank you for watching.